All right, here's a question. Here's another shotgun question that came through Reddit. This is from the real Jan Sonono. And the question is, how would you go about creating the, a Ken Burns effect to a split screen with two videos? So real quick, the Ken Burns effect, here's an example of what it is. It's a still frame picture and we zoom in or zoom out to a detail or from a detail to a wider shot. So there you go, that's the Ken Burns effect. We can create that in Shotcut. Here's an example of what that might look like in split screen. There we go, we're gonna create this and it doesn't really take that long at all. I'll show you how. I've got a couple of images of the Ken Burns right here. I'm gonna add those to two video tracks, one for split screen right and one for split screen left. I'm gonna make number two split screen right and I'm going to start by selecting the track, not the clip, but selecting the track. And from there, I'm gonna add a filter. That filter is going to be crop. So here's the crop filter rectangle. I'm going to eyeball this. You can do it specifically for your needs, but I'm gonna just, you know, get it somewhere in that range, right? That looks like half, sure, why not? Going to select my other frame and put a crop filter in there. It's my, no, we're not copy, that's wrong. Let's do crop, here it comes. Crop, rectangle, and I'm going to push it over to the other side. Now, as you can see, it doesn't look good, right? You got all that black there, that's simple. It's just because I didn't select transparent. Oof, look at that. All of a sudden, I've got video. I don't need to worry about making the first track transparent. That just creates some extra processing requirements. I have a video on top of it, so that's fine. Now, let's worry about getting the size and positioning right. I'm going to create a size and position filter. Where is it? Here. There we go. And I'm going to, remember this is the right side, I'm going to position it in a place where I have the whole image. There we go, we got the whole image. Looks good. And then I'm going to focus in on that rose right there at some point in the video. And then on the left side, I think maybe we'll do size and position. Center Ken here, that's good. And we'll focus in on his tie at some point in the video. All right, first things first, right side, here we go. Size and position, we're gonna add a keyframe at the beginning and then our end result is we wanna focus on that rose. It's a little messy here, but here's how I'll do it. I'll move the rows to where I want the rows to end. It's about the middle of the frame right there. And then I'll just kick up the zoom. I really wanna zoom in. And then you'll see here now, this is one thing that bothers me about size and position, the handle's too far away. So we're gonna have to use the numeric system to move everything where it needs to be. And I could just type in numbers, but uh, right now I'm holding the up arrow. The size we're going to move increasingly down. I think probably get closer with like an eight. Yeah, maybe 4,000, negative 4,000. That's somewhere in that range, right? It's close. Hold my down arrow, get that rosin. This is a little tedious. But it works. There we go. We got those flowers coming into frame. It's incredibly zoomed in at this point. You can move them over. Now I'm holding the up arrow on the X position here. And there's that orange flower. Now, I don't know a better way to move things around than just 
typing in numbers. Maybe there's a way to, to move things once you've lost the handle, it's out of view. Uh, but I'm not familiar with that. And there we go, that flower is in view. So that keyframe is done. And now I'm gonna go back to my timeline, select my left shot, which is, as you can see, crop down the middle. I'm gonna go to keyframes, back to the beginning of the keyframe. You can see that the right side is already working. Excellent. And then let's zoom in on the tie at the keyframe stopwatch. Go to the end and let's get that tie nice and centered right there. See if it gets close. Good, we still have the handle. We'll focus right on the knot, just like that. And then I still have to move the Y position a little bit more manually with the numeric values. So now we've zoomed in on the tie on one side, we've zoomed in on the flower on the other side, so left and right. And the final effect in our timeline will look something like this. You can see they're zooming. Let's just hit play and see what happens here. Look at that. How beautiful is that? They kick back because I wasn't at the end. You can see I have keyframes that go a little farther. I can kick this over, that's fine. Go back here to the timeline. Go back to my keyframes and I can make sure that this is all the way at the end. Just like that. And hitting play, there we go. Ken Burns effect in two separate cropped images. Just like that. Beautiful. Hopefully this explains uh, enough that you can use it in your project. Hopefully uh, you make something absolutely amazing. And if you do, I would 100% love it if you posted a link to your video in the comments. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.